Hey what's up everyone, Upstart here with Rise Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Now in the previous episode, uh, right over on the other side of this factory, uh, we started building our motor factory right over there. It, it's still not running because we still need uh, to add another two floors to this um, and we also need to increase our steel pipe production down there on, in our steel in our steel factory and we need to bring uh, conveyor belts uh, down here and get those into there I don't think they're gonna follow the same um, I don't know if route or pattern as these that they go in through here and then they go in through there and then they head up that way I think what I'm gonna have to do with these is either bringing bring them into through the back and and have them go up that way or have them just climb the wall uh, to whatever level they need to go I think that's what I'm gonna have to do but I'm not sure yet we also need to increase the amount of uh, foundries and constructors I have in that factory as well. Um, and right now, well, we just have a ton of concrete uh, constructors uh, running right now. That's the main thing we have. Uh, another thing is that we r we ran into a power grid issue in the previous episode. Uh, mainly because of all these constructors here that I have working up on that second floor and that that made us go up well over 200 well maybe not well over maybe just like barely over 200 but at the at that moment we had or at that point we only had a capacity of 150 so as soon as I connected everything it just went out power went out so I had I had a few I had a few power shards so I went over there and used them and well it still wasn't enough for everything I had connected so I had to disconnect a few things and well right now we mainly only have our concrete uh, being produced and a little bit of steel beams and steel pipes being produced over there but it's not much so what we're gonna have to do is go for uh, uh, the power shards gonna go uh, hunting for some power slugs um, I did mention that somewhere over here there's I think there's a yellow one up on that little rock thing uh, hill mountain whatever and then there's a green one right there and well they're just all over the place I know there's um, not down there but further down following my highway here I think there was a yellow one encased in like some bramble or something so all I need to do is cut that with uh, the chainsaw but that's what we're gonna have to do today pretty much increase our uh, power output or power production uh, get some hard drives from some crash pods and start getting also those alternative recipes that we're gonna need and we're also gonna be uh, continuing construction of our factories that we currently have and their expansions so that's what's going to be getting done uh, in this episode so I'm going to get to doing that and I'll see you guys in a little bit alright everyone just um, just a little update uh, while I was running around getting some uh, power slugs right here and let me get a little closer uh, right there there's that that's that's the first crash pod that I uh, ever found and got and I know I f actually found while I was running around getting the power slugs that there is another one a l like a little off to the uh, to the left of this uh, this little uh, cliff or whatever you want to call it uh, there's one down there and I just want to I just want to show you guys uh, that so pretty much from this crash pod you pretty much just go like um, diagonally towards the left and there it is 
Uh, I've already set up two biomass burners because this one actually asks for electri electricity. It asks for 30, 30 megawatts. So each of these uh, produce 20. So just throw a little bit in there. Just start them up real quick. And let's just open that. There you go. So that's uh, that's gonna be another hard drive uh, to our list. So I'm just gonna keep going. All right. So we are nearing the area um, where the ah die where the. A crashed pod is the one that is um ah another one smack it in the face there you go get those nuts um the one that's down by the coast uh there's a lot of fog uh coming in right now what's this nothing uh and there's i think that's one of the bigger um i don't know what these things are called but that's one of the bigger ones, yeah. I just call these one of the red guys. Smack in the face. That's gonna hurt though, for sure. Ah! Wonder if I can take it. I don't wanna die. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah. Come on, move. Can you please move? I'm trying to get those. Uh. Okay, there. It's dead. Yeah, so it's uh, these guys are pretty um, easy, I guess. But I mean, you just gotta pretty much run, run up on it, and you just keep jumping like around and trying to get not to get hit. I got hit a few times, but it wasn't that bad. Now there's these guys are here. Luckily, where is it? Oh, there's one right there. Uh, with the Xeno uh, Basher. It's much easier to get these from afar without them uh, um, hit, uh, attacking you or stinging you, I guess. That's what they do. Um, because when they do that, they as soon as they, as they uh, sting you or hurt you, they pretty much fly off and you can't really target them very well with the, uh, the just the zapper. So this is pretty good. So we got this. We got a few items. We got some circuit boards here. Heavy modular frames here. What else? Some more screws, as always. Wire as well. I think that's usually about it. You only got like four, four items around these places, around these uh, pods. So let's see what it's gonna ask for. Nope, it's free. Just open it. So I I don't have the other hard drive with me. Uh, that's because I've already put it to uh, to analyze. That way we can just keep getting these. Oh look, we got some reinforced iron plates. They're still useful because I use them for the constructors, so eh, free, they're free. And then, so I thought the, I thought this one was closer to our base, but I think I was wrong. I think this one's further away, just that the other ones, like out on the islands that are over there, you can hardly see them because of the fog. But there's some islands over there. I think they're this one's, man, eh, maybe still a little closer. But I just, I did think it was a little closer. To us but I guess they're probably about the same technically this counts as closer because I do have to go over the water to go to the, the, the islands over there so for now let's just head back and yeah because I noticed that as uh, on my way over I noticed that the part uh, the first little like maybe not island but like shore and where the first where the islands begin that's actually like right here in this area right down there so let's see if I can get a little closer I think that's right here so we're just gonna swim across huh that was easy can I smack it oh there's a bunch of these coming after me now ah ah smack it in the face there you go. Much easier. So let's grab these. Grab some of the. Probably should. Not that. 
probably should recover some health. So yeah, I just spam that. Uh, as I've been coming over here, I have been using it a little bit. I almost had a full stack right now, and where are they? I only have 12 right there. Oh, there, there's the other stack. I have a, a full stack of 100 already. Uh, there's just so many of these, that's why I just prefer to use this. Oh. Instead of, like, making the... I don't know exactly what it's called. There's something that is used like uh, like a first aid or a med kit type thing here. Um, but you need you need uh, you need the nuts. Uh, you need the berries. I think there's some coal right there. The berries, mycelia or something like that. And I don't know what else. Uh, the bacon agaris. Those aren't even that easy to find. And, oh, there's some uranium right there. I think it's just a little deposit, not really a node. But I don't really care for that. So, there. So, here is our crude oil node. This is our first one. Uh, there's usually one of those, um... Maybe not one, maybe a few... Of those little of those aliens that spit I don't know what they're called um, the ones that spit those uh, like fireballs or acid balls yeah these guys yeah I told you I knew there was a big one and yeah there it is that green that green one I think there's usually one f um, per per nodes uh, like defending these so just a uh, thing to keep in mind if you don't know so if you don't know yet and I think the green ones are much easier than the red ones. The red ones are like, let's say glass cannons. Maybe not exactly that. And these are more like tanks. They can take the hits. I think more than the red ones. I don't like when it hits me. I try to just jump all over the place. Okay, some limestone there. Just looking around to see if there's anything gonna, that's going to charge at me. I'm not going to be dealing with these nodes just yet. I've only come over here to uh, grab. I think there's some hogs over there. Some over there. Uh, to grab that hard drive. I can't remember what exactly needed. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be free just like this previous one. So there's more nuts right there. There's quite a few... Um, like enemies on these uh, little islands mainly the hogs and uh, well just about everything that's I think that's the only thing you can find it so far the hogs the um, the bees and those acid spitters I, I think they're acid it's acid right I can't exactly uh, make out what it is it just cause damage it's a, a phlegm ball if you want to call it that's, that's nasty but okay yeah, this is one of these, these stronger guys. Oh, I'm gonna die. Did I die? I did just die. So, I'm gonna have to come back. Alright, everyone. Uh, uh, we're back. Um, so, after having to deal with three of these, and just running around like crazy, I've been able to get my stuff back. Um, I think the, I'll call him the Mega Hog, I think he's still alive, I think this guy right here is smacking in the face, come on, he needs to die, he's killed me once, so I gotta pay him back, ah, what the, now that guy's trying to get in my, in my way, okay, let's just spam these, let's go for him, and here is, I don't know if this guy's bigger than the rest, no, it's just my imagination, probably, come on, Take it to the face! There we go, got him. Yeah. As I was saying, uh, previously before I died, uh, yeah, there are quite a bit of enemies. Um, not just, not really on the parts of the island where there's like nothing, but mainly like where these, there's something like this, uh, 
uh, this crashed pod and uh, some power slugs. I think there's a power slug on that side somewhere. There aren't many here, but there are a few that I've seen so far. I haven't seen that many. I see something right there, but that's probably just my imagination. Alright, so we got some computers. I don't have that much inventory space currently, but I can throw stuff away if need, if need be. So, cables. We're topped out on cables. Heavy modular frames. Those are definitely a good thing to grab. More heavy modular frames. Some reinforced uh, iron plates. And I think that's about it. These cables are probably a little bit more important than that stack right there. So I'm just going to grab that. That way I don't have to make my own cables. Let's see what this costs. If I'm not mistaken, I think this costs electricity. Oh no, it's free. Okay, so the ones on the shore and the one on um, like the islands is free. I guess that's good. So that's our second one. Uh, let us head back right now. We gotta uh, recover from this shock of dying. And uh, I ain't even gonna try to mess with that over there. That poison field, gas field, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, let's head back. Alright, so for the last um, crashed pod, the one that I mentioned that I saw from up above my ramp, yeah, this is the, the cliff area or whatever. Um, that was, uh, we were seeing from down there. Um, what I did was uh, I just went ahead and just put a bunch of ramps uh, connecting to my, my original ramp all the way down here. And just made a small little platform just to be able to get up here. Uh, just another thing to know. Uh, there was a there was a one green power slug right here. Um, it might sound e it might seem easy to get because there's nothing around it. Uh, you might want to put a foundation or something. Um, you don't want to like just try to get up here by like hopping and with the um, the blade runners tr and trying to get up there. You might accidentally accidentally just drop. So yeah, that's just one thing right there. Uh, also, this these two um, rock formations aren't actually connected, so you have to either uh, put something across, like foundations or uh, walkways, or just or jump across. But um, you might not be able to make it if you don't have the Blade Runners. Just uh, just a little thing to know. And this drop pod is actually pretty easy. It's not free. It, but it just uses 10 biofuel, which is basically free. So, out of out of the uh, items that it was uh, that were scattered around, they were only really certain. They were, I think, they were only circuit boards. Um, I think wire, cable, and reinforced uh, iron plates. That's. I think that's about it. That's usually what you get. That uh, or and some screws maybe. That's pretty much it for th for this part right here. Uh, four four uh, hard drives were technically just three now because one is uh, was being analyzed, which should have been, should be done by now. But I was trying to get all these things first uh, together. Uh, another thing to know uh, down that way, I think there's like a little ramp area. There's also one from the bottom. You can actually get. Um, close to this area uh, from the bottom there's like a little ramp somewhere down the side uh, and then there's a tunnel somewhere over there I believe uh, that leads to a canyon where there's an area where there's um, like a small not well it's kind of tall but it's a, it's a small cave it's a tall cave though where um, there's two quart deposits uh, two quartz deposits uh, just something to to note there. That as that is actually where we're gonna be getting our quartz from, and when we get to um, making crystal oscillators and those kind of things, um, we're gonna be using that. We're, I don't know if I'm gonna be bringing it all the way out over here because it's kind of far in. I might just have something like the factory up there, and then just have a conveyor belt bringing it down instead. Uh, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do there. But uh, let us go ahead and um, start with the these um, the a the analyzing of these uh, hard drives.
All right, so the recipe that I want to get first, I think, is going to be the rotor recipe, the alternative rotor one, because we're pretty much on that now, and uh, it'd be nice to get that recipe so we can, once we finish uh, the construction of our motor factory, um, or at least get the rotor production and the stator production up and running, uh, we can have... Uh, we can have those being made uh, together with the same materials and not have to worry about trying to get something else in there. So the rotor one is probably going to be the first one. Let's see if we get it. So we didn't get it right here. So let's try again. Alright, so this is just our second try and we got it. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we also want to get the encased industrial beams. Uh, alternative recipe for the same reason of the pipes um, and these also take a while to construct so it would be nice to with usually with alternative recipes um, the manufacturing time is uh, much faster sometimes it uses a little bit more uh, materials but it pays off in uh, the long run with the, the time that it takes um, Stitch iron plate? No, we're not going to go with that one. I am going to go with a reinforced iron plate uh, alternative recipe, but it's not going to be the uh, stitched iron plate. It's going to be the regular reinforced one. The one that still uses iron plates and screws, but it uses more of them, but it produces at a faster rate. Uh, that's that. More on that later on. So right now we're just going to go for this one, our rotor recipe. So we've got that. Um, I got some mycelia all, along the way. Uh, it's actually in my uh, uh, storage. Uh, I also have some alien organs from all those uh, acid spitters. I'll call them that. Uh, I don't remember. I think they did have a name, but I don't remember those. So I do have some alien organs I could be doing, but we don't care about that right now. We want our uh, alternative blueprint. So we're going to go with another hard drive. I'm going to start that one up. And here. Let's check if um, it's, where is it, there it is. I wanted to check if this was here. I didn't want to have uh, the same thing that happened with this one happen again. Uh, because I think with the um, the first or the easy tier ones, you don't have to, or the lower tier ones, you don't have to do like a research on them. I think for the alternative screws, I think, I, I, if I recall correctly, uh, I did get the recipe and I should have it, but it didn't ask for us to clear a milestone for it. So since it's one of like the lower tier things, I think it, I think that's the case and we do have it, but we just haven't gotten to um, check it out if we actually do or not. But these, since these are a little higher tier, I think that's why they asked for us to do like a milestone for these. So. I guess I'll just put that as an active one. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I do have the reinforced iron plates that we've just been gathering um, from all these crash sites, but we don't have the mo the rotors, so I'm just gonna do those real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so that was quick. Uh, it didn't take that long, a minute or two, because I already had screws that I had found uh, from the crash sites. I've been carrying around rods, so I already have I already had all the materials I needed to make those 25 stators. Uh, I mean rotors. And we'll just throw that in. I have a feeling this one is going to be the the fist. Let's check it out. Nope, it wasn't the fist. Is it going to say something? Is it going to launch? Nope. It's not important enough to launch the pod. Or for, uh, what's her name? Ada? Um, it's not important enough for her to say something either. Okay, so we have that. I'm just going to bring this back up. I just like to keep that there to remind me. There you go. Alright, so I'll be back with you guys when the hard drive finishes analyzing. Alright, another hard drive is done analyzing and let's check it out. Quick wire, the stator one, and the iron ingot. Um, I think I did want to get the quick wire recipe because over on that side where the Caterium uh, node is at, uh, nearby, it's, 
it's not very far, but it's not very close. Um, there's a copper uh, node, and I'm, I'm like, I might as well use it to get more, more quick wire and have uh, quick wire produce faster. I, I usually make a small quick wire factory there for uh, with the where that caterium node is. So I can get that. So I need I need to get the reinforced uh, iron plate one. I want to get the quick wire one. Uh, the encased industrial uh, beam. That's three. And there are other ones, but I can't recall them at the moment. So I'm just gonna grab it. I'm gonna need it anyways. And let's just throw another one. All right. So I'll be back with you guys with the next recipe. Alrighty, let's check on the next one. Stator, modular frame, and iron wire. Let's retry this and check if we can get it on the next one. Alright, so we got iron wire again, heavy modular frame, and in case industrial beam, which is one we want to get. So let's just grab that one and just throw in our last hard drive. Come on, hard drive. Alright, and let us carry on. Alright, so let's check on this. Iron wire, modular frame, iron ingot. Uh, that's not what we want, let's try again. All right, and again, none of these are what we want. So let's try again. All right, so this time we got what we wanted, uh, the reinforced iron plate. Uh, some might think that this is not um, very useful, but it just depends on where um, you decided to make your base or where you're making your factories, uh, how many resource nodes you have around, if uh, it's viable for you or not. Uh, it just depends. So yeah, let's grab that and just confirm it. Um, I have I have that, and I have some of this. I can maybe see if I can analyze it. I don't remember if it was five or ten what I needed. That requires five, and that requires five as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the alien organs first. So I'm gonna toss that in. Get that one done. Damn, 20 minutes. Almost half an hour. So, I'm just going to throw these back in. I'm going to throw that in there as well. And, uh, well, let's carry on. So, in here, we're not, we're not ready for the Logistics Mark 3 just yet. But, I decided to just go ahead and do this one since I already have materials for it so I'm just gonna throw those in there and the plates over here launch that that's gonna go that's not gonna go it's not that important <laughs> to send the pod again okay so that's done and uh, let me show you guys what progress I've made so far um, it it might not look a lot, like a lot, but it is pretty significant, at least for, uh, for, uh, in my opinion, uh, because right now it isn't very efficient to bring down the conveyor belts all the way down from the steel factory to bring the pipes over. It is uh, kind of a waste of time, but it is faster. For me to just run down, grab whatever is ready, and come back. And what I have done is set up a container there with a splitter up top, right there, uh, hanging in midair. And just I have those going to three separate conveyor belts, uh, three separate uh, chains of this, where you can see the pipes just coming down right there, coming down slowly, but they are coming down. I have all these uh, conveyor lifts. Uh, these four on the right, uh, the right side. Uh, those are the ones that are, are taking up the wire, 
and these on the left side, these longer ones are the ones that are coming from this side, are taking up the pipes. The way, the reason I did it, I did this 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 way, is because I just didn't have space in the middle or inside this uh, bottom uh, floor or what whatever you want to call it, um, to have these setups going down and putting them over there. So I had to do it the reverse way or the inverse way. I did it from the outside, but I had to bring them out, to take them out up, like to raise them up through the outside. I could have done something different, and that is not connect these and make um, a conveyor lifts facing outwards, but I don't know if you can even do that. Let me check just real quick. Like something like this. But we'll, we'll, it won't even let me rotate it. So if I were to be like here, yeah, I can rotate it out here. But on there, it won't. So yeah, I probably, I kind of sort of needed to do something like this. Where it comes in, it lifts it up just to the next, um, the next window or whatever. And, and then have a, a conveyor belt on the outside just going straight up. Where it takes it to the assembler. So that's what I did there. Pretty much did something like this. So I have my um, pipes going down. These are stopped because even though I have those conveyor lifts set up there, there's no assemblers to, for those to go in. I only have the first four on the end. So yeah, I don't have that many pipes either, but it's it's a start. So I I had two lines full. Now that it's it's gone down. Uh, it's these two lines here or two conveyor belts have already filled up so that's not going to consume anymore it's just going to be the the top conveyor belt um, distributing our um, our uh, steel pi pipes so let's head up to take a look at the uh, upper floors so here are the assemblers I only had four what I'm having here the, um, done is I have rotors and stators alternating. So one is is, used, is making rotors, the other is making uh, stators, and so on and so forth. So this one's rotors, that one's stators, and that's how it's going to be going in pair. They're going to be going in pairs because that's how we need them. So now let's head up to what is this? The third floor. Yeah, I don't count uh, the ground floor. I don't count it as a, as the first floor. I count this one as the first one, that one as the second one, and this is the third floor up here. So, so this here should be producing our our motors now. As you guys could have seen there, it was yellow. It was blinking yellow. That means it wasn't doing anything because it didn't have our materials. Yeah, our materials are coming in slowly, mainly because it's not optimized and the conveyor belts that we're using are. The slowest that we can have uh, but we're getting there there's uh, we're producing our motors now so it's kind of slow but it's still getting done there's 14 in there and there's 14 in there that's, that's another one done 15 and that's almost done so we're um, we're getting we're getting to the point where we can finally optimize all these things and we can we'll start getting motors for our milestone that I didn't set it. It's not up in there in the corner. Let's just drop down from here. It's gonna hurt. No, it didn't hurt. Okay, so we need we need 50 motors to get the Mark III and 25 uh, reinforced iron plates. Those I'm gonna mash out uh, manually because I still haven't even started my factory my iron iron factory over here that's gonna start from there it's gonna go down like across to like over here or something and then just go all the way down to like around where this is that's probably what I'm gonna do next but for now this is where I'm gonna end the episode uh, thank you all for watching please subscribe if you want to see more hit that like button if you like the episode and I'll see you next time bye bye